So while the international community is focused on the surprise DMZ meeting between North Korea's Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump, some analysts say the optics were designed to fire up Trump's base and win over undecided independence ahead of the 2020 U.S. presidential election. Our Kim Hyo-san tells us more. President Trump stepped out of Marine One at Osan Air Base to cheers on Sunday evening as he walked toward the podium to address hundreds of U.S. troops stationed in South Korea. With a satisfied smile, Trump encouraged the U.S. soldiers while stressing his surprise meeting with Kim Jong-un at the DMZ was very productive. We had a very productive meeting. I outlined uh, the incredible prosperity that awaits North Korea when this whole thing gets settled. He also called up to the stage both Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and his daughter Ivanka. What a beautiful couple. <laughs> Mike, beauty and the beast, Mike. President Trump even gave shout outs to a handful of soldiers as well as Robert Abrams, commander of U.S. Forces Korea. Soon the ambience of the Osan Air Base reminded many of the election campaign that led to Trump's victory in 2016. Where is he? And you know that great Abrams tank is in his family, named after his father. Did you know that? It's pretty impressive. As President Trump has formally launched his 2020 re-election campaign, many analysts say his surprise DMZ encounter with the North's leader is aimed at winning over the hearts of American voters. Trump even won praise from news media outlets that are usually critical of the U.S. president, including CNN, which said the trip and meeting had gone well. On the other hand, there were also criticisms that the DMZ encounter helped elevate Kim Jong-un's status. Victor Cha, the Korea chair at the Center for Strategic and International Studies, said the DMZ meeting was nothing more than a reality TV show that legitimizes Kim in the eyes of the North Korean people. Cha added it will remain a theatrical show if it does not lead to concrete and substantive denuclearization talks going forward. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.